It's the risk of the path we've chosen. Sorrow and anger waiting in abundance. Familiarity rarely dulls their teeth. Right. Spend enough time as a warden and you'll see plenty of death. Thought I'd gotten used to it. But Weishaupt... You blame yourself. If you'd been faster or fought harder. If you hadn't missed your best shot at the architect of all that misery. You did your best. Both of you. We all did. Just means our best must be better. It will be. Next time, we'll be ready. Count on it. Seems like you're getting along now. Better than before, at least. Lucanus is still an assassin. Kills people for money. And Davrin's still self-righteous. Judgmental, too. Typical warden. If we let that get in the way of stopping the gods... We won't. We cannot. We can't afford infighting. Not with the odds already stacked this high against us. What happened at the Cauldron put a lot of things into perspective. Like Emmerich said, we need to deal with our personal problems. So we're ready when we need to be. Facing the gods while distracted will end us all. I'm pleased my words provided clarity on how we all felt. Now, if I may suggest... Rook, I've been looking for you. Something wrong? Evka sent word. They've found something. Right then. Rest of you find Tosh and Nev. Let's go see what the Wardens have to share. Hesenkos. We've seen the type. Dangerous. Demon's back. I don't think he ever leaves, actually. Then he's acting weird. <sighs> Smells like melon and wood smoke. Hey! No! No? Sit your ass back down. I'll handle this. Maybe make sure the Illuvian room is blocked? Now we get to talk. When demons say they want to talk, that usually means they want to bargain. Lucanis made a deal. He hasn't kept. What deal? Break our chains, kill, escape our prison, and live? Isn't that what happened? No! I want out! Out to where? To Vinter? Or Lay? Nowhere is safe for a possessed man. No! No! He promised! Tell him! Make him! Rook? You were sleepwalking. Spite was sleepwalking. He didn't go anywhere. Nothing happened. I didn't want you to see that. Again. Nothing I'm seeing makes me want to look away. How do you always do that? Do what? Break apart my perfectly gathered clouds of doom. You deserve better than to deal with my mess. You're more than what you're going through. And you wear it well. This isn't a good idea. Sometimes a bad idea is better. You like to walk a little too close to the edge. So do you. At least I know I'm doing it. I... need to clear my head. Excuse me.
Davrin. Doing some renovations? Building a trophy cabinet. The figures I'm carving. Good idea. They deserve showing off. Always room for improvement. Trying to get the details right on this figure of Tosh. They'll fight the other monsters, and then oops. Guess that herlock was too much to handle there, Tosh. Time to call a Grey Warden. Really? No. There's no wood in the world strong enough to carve their temper. Listen, Rook. A Warden has to figure out what they want in their life. So tell me. Do you see us headed anywhere together? Or is it a hopeless chase? It's been fun, but I don't want to lead you down the wrong path. Too bad. But thanks for a straight answer. No hard feelings? No. We're good. Thanks. I didn't mean to mess up your day. You didn't. My mind's already on planning the design for my next piece anyhow. Maybe you could carve the rest of us. Maybe. It might be good to carve the people still around, once this is all over. If you ever need to talk more about Weishaupt... What we're doing now, going out and helping people, makes it easier to sleep. But I'll remember the offer. Thanks, Rook. I'll see you around. We've gotten word from the Wardens. Have they found Gillinane? Not yet, but they found something else worth killing. One of her blighted dragons. The one that attacked me in Rathus? No, the one from Treviso. Damn it. Where is it? Hosburg, not far from Lavendel. Last time we fought, we hurt this dragon enough that Gillinane called it back. This time? We take it down for good. Everyone's coming. Nothing left to chance. This time, we've got a dragon hunter on our side. Right, Tosh? Right. We can do this. A single dragon is still dangerous, and this one is blighted. Take care of each other and yourselves. Let's make it out alive. So, does the fire feel like a part of you? Or, or I don't know, like, like something else inside you? No, it has to be me. Has to? What if it's not? Mm -hmm. How? Sometimes the stone magic feels like something else in me. It's me, but it's not me. You know? You have to feel the magic as part of you. You can't control it till you admit it's yours. Comparing magic? It's nice to have someone else who understands. That what it's like for you as a mage?
I had to accept that while magic comes from the Fade, the power to harness it comes from me. You make it sound so easy. You know how many times I set my bed on fire? My mother had to get special sheets. <laughs> You'll get there. Thanks, Tosh. That really helps. Good. You deserve to be happy. Ugh. She smells really good. How you doing over there? What? Shut up. Nothing. Well, I'm convinced. I want to get her something. What do you think she likes? You should get her something that shows you appreciate her skills. Something archery related. Like a bow? No, not like a bow. She has a bow. Like, I don't know, a fancy bowstring or a really nice leather cuff for her arm? That's not a gift. That's a gear. No, look, it shows her you see who she is and you appreciate her. I'm blaming you if it doesn't work. That's the spirit. Rook, you made it. Good. Wouldn't miss it. You have unfinished business with that dragon. What's the situation out here? Could be better. The Darkspawn attack, then immediately withdraw. But they never hit the same place twice. They're testing our defenses for weaknesses. Darkspawn aren't supposed to be that smart. But it's not really them thinking, is it? Wise Haupt left people terrified. No one signed up to fight gods. The First Warden called it the Blight to end all blights. He might be right. By my count, Elgernon and Gillenane are the last two gods, aside from Solus. If we put them down, maybe this is really it. The last blight. That... It's hard to imagine what that looks like right now. First things first. Let's deal with that blighted dragon. Right. We've tracked it to a ruined tower nearby, probably licking its wounds after its fight with you. We've got ballistas ready with clear shots on the tower, but it won't come into the open. Already lost 11 wardens trying to pry it out. Only another dragon can fight a dragon in a tight space. Anything else gets shredded. No room to dodge or keep your distance. We need to lure her out to have any chance. How do we do that? Get me inside the tower. I've got a call that'll grab her attention. Works for me. I sent word to the crows. Thought they might want another shot at the dragon. Besides, figured they owed you one after you helped drive it off the last time. And? Haven't heard back yet. We reached out to the Veil Jumpers too, but they've got their own problems with the Venatori. Looks like it's just us. If anyone can do this, it's us. We had your back at Weishaupt. We've got it here. Okay, here's where we stand. Wardens Janie and Rodri are keeping people out of the battlefield. I don't think anyone local will test their luck with a dragon, but we're taking no chances. They've already got orders to let you through. Good. 
Rest of you can head to the walls. Give the Wardens all the support you can. Of course, Rook. Good luck. To all of us. Weishaupt was far worse than this, yet I'm beset with nervousness. I suppose we had little time to contemplate the horrors we found waiting at the fortress. Okay, light a dragon. We've got this. We can do this, not a problem. I just kind of want to throw up. Rook, I heard you were coming. Dragon's right this way. Careful, though. Nasty creature. It's already killed 11 wardens. We already have first-hand experience with this dragon. We'll be careful. Agreed. You'll find it straight ahead. Good luck, Rook. We're ready when you are. She's still a dragon under all that blight. A wounded and angry dragon. Meaning? That lair is a death trap. She'll rip us apart. So we challenge her, draw the dragon out into the open, then attack. Sounds good. Just make sure everyone is ready. Are you ready? I've got this.
Give it everything you've got! It's not getting away this time! Guaranteed to solve your blighted dragon problem. Let's bring them down, Rook. My archdemon was a unique creation. It will never rise again.
It is raw potential. A perfect tool of creation. No! She's reanimating the dragons! We have to stop her! You know what lesson I learned again today? What's that? Never bet against Rook. You can find the twisting path through any problem. But the gods got away. And now Elgernon has stepped from the shadows. We came to kill a dragon, yes? And instead we killed a bear. That took two of the gods' pieces off the board. And we have our revenge. As does Minrathus. We won the day. Can't take that from us. But the dragons are only weapons. The wielder is still out there. How do we find them? The gods, I mean. Gilanane mentioned something about Arlathan. When was that? After Elgernon cast his spell. I was close enough to hear them. Didn't you say the Veil Jumpers have trouble out there, Evka? Yeah, with the Venatori. Feels like more than a coincidence. You'll still need to hunt them down. The gods could be anywhere in Arlaton Forest. The Veil Jumpers can help us narrow the search. We help with their Venatori problem. Then odds are good we find the gods' trail. Good luck. We'll keep watch here. Yes, much to do. If you have time for Lavendel, there's something I could use help with. We lost a lot of wardens today. After Weishaupt, we need to be stronger than this to face the gods. But we'll do what we can. We always do. The Wardens have your back, Rook. All the way to the end. So that's Elgernon, huh? I didn't think it was possible, but... We got lucky at Weishaupt. We were fortunate Elgernon and Gilanane disagreed on her attempt at vengeance. But why did Elgernon let us live? We were at his mercy. Solus worries him. Maybe even scares him a little. Why? Solus is powerful, but nothing close to Elgernon. It's not just about power. Solus has messed up Elgernon's plans before. Nothing's bigger than dragons. But they're clever enough to take flight once they smell danger. 
Elgernon smelled danger. Whatever the reason, we made it through. And this time, no dragon escaped. Thanks to Tosh. That's why we recruited them. So what's our next move, Rook? Arlithin, right? Help the Veil Jumpers? That'll put us on the gods' trail, but we need to be ready for the fight once we find them. Which means we need to help our allies be as prepared as possible. The eight of us can't face gods without help. Elganon's arrival certainly puts a dreadful emphasis on it. So, we help our allies. And track down the gods. And maybe deal with our own crap when we've got time. Like finding out who Zara was working with. Look, the mission's still the same. Stop the gods. Which means? It means we offer to help the Veil Jumpers with the damn Venatori. Then we figure out what our other allies need, and help them get it. And us? I need you focused and ready to face impossible odds. So tell me what that will take. We've got work to do. So Elgernon finally showed his face, huh? Now we've got to deal with both gods. And Elgernon showed everyone he's more powerful than Gilanane. You play the hand you're dealt, right? No matter the odds. True in both life and games of Wicked Grace. People died, Varric. My team's still not at their best. They're trying, but their own problems are getting in the way. So deal with those. You'll strengthen your own hand and weaken the gods at the same time. Why would helping my team hurt the gods? The type of people your team's having problems with, they want power. And the gods have plenty of it. Those types will crawl over to the gods and see what's on offer. And the rest? They'll just keep making your job harder. You make all of this sound so easy. Kid, you've got a team with a lot of complications. Sorting it all out will be the furthest thing from easy. We've taken down an archdemon and two blighted dragons. That's impressive. We even made Gilanane bleed. Twice. We have to keep up the fight. You've got this, Rook. Just fight one battle at a time. Every time I think I've got a handle on how weird magic is, it just gets weirder. Remember the dragon we were talking about with the lords? Veiljumper sent word. She's in Arlathan Forest. Destroyed a village and turned it into her new lair. I've got the location from the Veiljumpers. We can go whenever you want. Remember, Rook, when I mentioned another ceremony I must perform at the Memorial Gardens? The time has come. I was hoping you'd accompany me again. More grave lighting? 
No, this would be a more personal visit. Whenever you've time. I heard from Cal Shirak about the missing dwarves. Stalgard's one of them. I have to go help. They sent me maps of the area where the missing were last seen. It's a start. You're coming to help, right? I promised I would. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Let's not wait too long. Too much sky. That's what it even is. Well, he did worse than just try to kill me. Really? The guy stiffed me on the job. Those were good potions I used. Expensive, too. Right. That makes sense. How's it going over here? It's okay. You know. You can take my seat, Rook. I was just leaving. Belle, swing by when you get a chance. I found another set of papers for you. Thanks, Nev. That's nice. Sorry, Rook. Not great company right now. You just want to sit here quietly, that's fine. I can do quiet. You're not very good at silence. I'm great at most silences, just bad at awkward ones. <laughs> Fair enough. So it's bothering you, Ballara? You know, if you can narrow it down. Nothing, Rook. Don't worry about it. I asked, didn't I? It's Syrian. You saw who he is, what he's become. Yeah. He's a monster, Rook. But despite that, he's still your brother. I would have done anything to get him back. Even join someone like that, like Anaris. But you didn't. You turned them down. I did, but Rook... It was hard. I wanted my brother back. I mean, before all of this, Syrian and I were the same. Inquisitive, driven, pushing ourselves. The search for the Nadister Thalin, the Archive, that was both of us, working together. I want to say I'll keep saying no, keep turning him down, but he's my brother. What? keeps me from doing what he did. You're not Syrian, Ballara. You're you. And what if that's not good enough? Then keep your evil to off hours. Replace Lucanus's coffee beans with hot peppers. Buy Nev a bag of wisp food. Hide Tasha's snacks. <laughs> You're not very good at being evil. I'll work on it. I'm kind of making this up as I go. Our team motto, pretty much. Let's paint that on the side of the lighthouse. I'm sure Solus would love that. You good? I'm good. Thanks, Rook. I'll see you later.
I've got a meeting with the Threads. The Threads? What for? I need leads on Alia. I'm hoping they have something. Damas asked if my friend was coming. Not sure he meant it nicely. Rook, hello. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. Emmerich, how could you stay annoyed at that face? Skull. <laughs> oh, Manfred. Whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? Doesn't ring a bell. A lich is a mage transformed into one of the undead while retaining their true, original consciousness. The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis. Necromancers before me who'd transformed themselves into true living dead. Well, didn't need to sleep tonight. They're unlikely to visit your slumber. The liches are the great protectors of the necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, they granted me my desire. The right to attempt lichdom. You want to become undead? Lichdom is no ordinary path to undeath. It's far more than common possession. Oh, that makes it fine then. Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers, as well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are considerations. Come, we have flowers to gather for the dead. Okay, but I've got questions. Be 
blue creep vine. This will do nicely. Emmerich, I can't believe you want to die and stuff a spirit into your body. Liches are different. It wouldn't be a spirit acting in my name. My true consciousness would be housed in my departed flesh. How? The Order must keep some secrets. Ah, moon blossoms, famed in verse and song. Look, what about flowers? Wouldn't you miss smelling them as a lich? I've been told that while some of my senses will dull, others will become available. Other than that, I can't say if the flowers would still hold their bloom for me. Lichdom serves a purpose. There are dark things in creation, threats to both our world and the Fade. The liches of the necropolis have the insight and the abilities to oppose them. And you're joining them when? Certain elements have held me back. There's no ready instructions for lichdom. The steps must be discovered on one's own over years to be fully understood. Does the spell to become a lich kill you, or do you have to...? No, mercifully, that falls to another Watcher. After my death, my soul will be drawn back into my body instead of moving on to whatever lies beyond. I still don't think you should do it, but why haven't you become a Lich yet? Even with all my preparations, there's a chance I could die, permanently, during the rites. What cowardice! The promise of immortality, an end to all my fears, and the final veil stays my hand. You could try this and die for good? Your plan keeps getting worse. You say nothing that hasn't hounded me. Traditionally, candidates for lichdom face one final sifting of the soul. If they avoid it, you saw my old colleague. Hezenkos? She's a lich? A half-lich, though that hasn't diminished her powers. Until I stop her plans, I won't possess the peace of mind for lichdom. Why don't you select the next flowers, Rook? Sure. So what's a half-lich, exactly? Johanna attempted the rites of lichdom and failed. Stuck in her in-between state, she is supremely dangerous, but can't learn any new magic. No wonder hasn't caught... What about the sifting of a soul that Hezenkos avoided? The spirits of the Necropolis judge whether a candidate is worthy of the power and responsibility of lichdom. How'd she become a lich without it? I shared some knowledge when we were colleagues. She apparently put together more than I knew. It would be just like her to skip the rituals, the cleansings, the preparations of the soul. For a Watcher, Hezenkos is pretty harsh on spirits. We made allowances because of her discoveries. Too many. Spirits are not things to be disposed of. You really care about them. They're so susceptible to the world's whims, Rook. Some spirits are dangerous, but how quickly most respond to a bit of kindness or care or simple attempt to understand. For all she's done, I can't condemn Johanna for attempting lichdom. That freedom from mortality, that divorce from fear. And of course, time to read all of one's books. Every mage's dream. But how she's abused her abilities. Are my intentions enough to fare better? Worrying's a good sign.
We have enough flowers. There's something I'd like to show you. Here we are. Oh, so these flowers are for... Yes. If you could place them on the graves, please. In memory of Rupert and Eleonora Volcaren, they walk eternity hand in hand. After I became a watcher, I erected a proper shrine to my parents. When I come to talk, I like to think they listen. Well, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Rook, it's a pleasure. Do you remember your parents? Some memories are bright. Others are akin to those dim early morning dreams one gets sometimes. Lately, I wondered what they'd think of our current course, the choices ahead. Your lichdom? What would they have wanted me to be? I can tell you what I think they'd want you to be. What's that? Happy. You could always speak with your folks, couldn't you? My parents last saw me as a boy. By the time I mastered my corpse whispering, I was a man. If I woke them, there might be a flash of recognition, or... Besides, if I speak to too many other spirits, Manfred might grow jealous. <laughs> Can't have that. He'd be impossible, I agree. The missing dwarves started their patrol here. If we retrace their steps, we'll figure out what happened to them. I hope. This way. And be on your guard. I don't know what we'll find here. Got your back. They were definitely here. This is good. We're headed in the right direction. to the deep roads is through here. Let's go. I 
I think there's a passage back here. Stand back. I'll move this rock aside. Dark. And it looks like the passage leads down. Undead? Why are there undead things here? Thousands have died in the deep roads. That's not what I asked. Oh, oh. It might belong to one of the missing Kalsharok dwarves. Come on, let's try to find a way forward. We should head this way. Harding, if you please. We've got you. You? It's you? Yes, it's me, Harding. But you were... Uh, no, it couldn't have been. Oh, my head. Can you tell us what happened? We were on patrol. Stolgal thought he heard something. Someone weeping, he said. He left to investigate. Never returned. Soon we all started to hear it. The weeping, the whispers. Something took me as I rested. A shadow tinged with red. The last thing I saw before suffocating darkness. How did you survive in a rock? That's your question? Right now? I bet it's a dwarven thing. Children of the stone. Our philosophers may have an answer. But I do not. Just rest. You're no longer in danger. Something's still out there. But it's not after you anymore. I understand. May the ancestors be with you. We should keep going. I sense someone else close by. Be careful. Trust nothing you hear. Trust nothing you see. And thank you, Harding. Stay here. You'll be safe. This isn't all of them. Let's keep going. like old mining stuff. There's lyrium all through these rocks. I'm not surprised people tried to get at it. Those scuff marks. That looks like someone was 
dragged off. We have to find them. There's someone close. I think I can feel them. Keep looking. And now, demons? Uh, demons. Something's got them riled up. You're okay.
Let's look for a way to get there. way through here. Someone else is close by. Come on. You're safe now. Parting? What's happening? It means we're on the right track. Stay here. You'll be safe. Harding, can you... Thanks, Harding. That wasn't me, Rook. I didn't move that. What? What do you mean? I don't know what to tell you. That's Stalgard. <laughs> Lace Harding, you should not have come. You needed help. We had to do something once we knew you were in danger. You are both fools, and I am forever grateful for it. What happened? The memory is clouded. I recall a cry in the shadows, and then nothing. I awoke in darkness, pressed against the stone. No room to even breathe. Time lost meaning. There was a voice in my ears murmuring in despair. 
Well, I'll never sleep again. Do you know what it was? A shade. A rot within the stone. And it's after me. The only way to stop it is to face it. Don't. It will consume you. You, mister, need to rest. I'll handle it. Farther in. That's where the Titan's heart is. That's where I have to go. That's where it ends. The Titan's heart? Are we... in an actual Titan? How do you... I just know. Whatever happens, we'll be right here with you. Thanks. All of you. I'm ready. Red lyrium's usually blighted. This isn't that. It's just lyrium that's angry. Crystal veins. It's badass. Over there. The heart. That's where I have to go. Everyone breathe. We... we can handle this. Look at me! Don't you remember? They broke us into a million pieces, and this is all that's left! <laughs>
Titans did to the Titans. And now the world will remember! You're lace-hearted! You're more than this rage! You believe that the world is beautiful! That people are good! Hold on to it! Hold on to who you are! Ah, you took everything from us. And you thought you won. But we're still here. We're different. But we're not gone. We will thrive in spite of you. Was intense. My mind's still clearing. Anyway, you ready to go? Let's get you home. Stalgard and the others are returning to Kal Shirak to spread word of what happened. They'll need to be strong in the coming days. We all will. And I think you've proven your strength. Me? <laughs> Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. You can ask me how I'm feeling, you know? How are you? I used to worry that I'd lose myself to the Titans, but I wouldn't even be here without them, would I? How could I lose myself when they were always a part of me? So what's next for you? First, we stop the Elven Gods. And after that, well... <sighs> One step at a time, see where it takes me. <laughs> I know this was hard for you, learning all that, feeling all that. I'm sorry. Yes, but I wasn't alone. Oh, and I don't know if I said thank you, so thank you, Rook. I wouldn't be here without you. She felt it all over. Her attraction to the hero, a powerful but properly contained tingle. 
nearly exquisite. Properly contained. No, it sounds bad. Okay, cut the middle line. Much more natural. What are you working on? Oh! Rook! Um, I didn't see you. What did you hear? Not sure what it was, but it sounded pretty good. Oh, really? Well, thank you. Nev found me more cereals. I've read them, all of them, multiple times. And I thought maybe I could try it, writing my own, I mean. Not like Varric Tethris, but my own sort of thing. For me, and people like me. Something to focus on, besides Sirian and all of that. And you know, you're also interesting. It helps for inspiration. Interesting is certainly a word we could use. But it works. You're fighting ancient gods and everything. And you know the rest. It's impressive. What you've done, I mean, brought everyone together. You're a good person, really. Being around good people helps. That's the thing about a team. Everyone brings everyone else up. That's what they taught me. The veil jumpers, I mean. A team's only as good as its weakest link. So you make them stronger, like you do with all of us. So keep being that kind of person, one everyone can look up to. Anyways, thanks, Rook. I'll talk to you later. Gotta finish this scene. Careful with that. But of course. It's the only lead I've got. My dear Daphrin, I'll be as careful with this cloth as if it were burial silk from the Storm Age. <laughs> and this will be so instructive for Manfred. Ah, Rook, just in time. Need some help? Give it a minute. We'll see. That piece of cloth I tore off the gloom howler back at the cauldron still has some of its blood on it. And now, through the application of necromancy, perfected by the Morn Watch through years of meticulous... Yeah, yeah, we're trying to figure out what the gloom howler is. Rather, discern its nature. How? By setting it on fire? Patience to discern one must sometimes destroy. Ah, yes, of course. How interesting. What is it? It says this was elven blood. This was a person. What? But it, it howls. A corrupted person, not always a monster, and something else, uh, dearthsel. I'm unfamiliar with the meaning. An elven word for covenant, like a promise or a blood oath. I think I get it. An elf who took a vow, then gets blighted. An elf who knew about griffins and warden's secrets. Almost as if... It was a warden. Hunting a monster is one thing. But a warden gone bad? What will it do to the Griffins? It kept talking about saving them. Something else is going on here. I'll put out the word, call in favors, see who might know more. But thanks for your help, Emric. You, uh, discerned well. My pleasure.
Why don't you care about our city? Uh, if you got a job for me, let me know. There's dangerous fanatics, then there's Alia. She's loose in Docktown, and we're in the dark. What's the plan? The threads in Alia's Venatori are at war. That might slow Alia down, but until I know her plans, I need to hear whatever information the threads pick up. What about Rana? Can she help? I told Rana that Alia's back. She needs the warning. As for help, Rana wants to be an example. Not sure where that goes anymore. You're worried about her. I'm worried about everyone. <sighs> Tired enough to admit it. Rock. Too good for thread gratitude, yet here we are. Come on, Thomas. Alia's a pain for both of us. You know I play nice. We know people in this town. Neighbors. When they don't turn up on the rounds, we notice. Alia used the threads for dirty work. Stolen relics, muscle, spies. These people, they disappear. And you don't know where to. Alia's good at covering her tracks. That's why you're here. I've got names of missing people, including those hardly anyone noticed yet. All yours, no catch. We can't let Alia do this. If what she did to the Threads was an opening act... We won't like the show. This is war. We find Aelia, we kill her. Give the cult something to think about. You find her, you do the same. Docktown's ours. To Docktown. From the people who breathe it, bleed for it, no one's got its back like we do. to a better dock town, and doing the best we can till then. <laughs> you go far. To home. The others are bartenders, but I'm the mixologist. I don't serve drinks. I build libations. Let me know if you want anything. Enjoy.
Evka, Antoine. You needed help with something. Is this about your studies? Look at the blight here. The world dies like this if we do nothing. We need a deeper understanding of how it behaves. I have theories, but... Something's wrong. We've been keeping Darkspawn away from Lavendel, but those have been packs. What's heading for us now is a small horde. We push it back, or the locals wind up dead. We can't lose now. This whole place would be a grave. You can see why we had to change focus. Where do things stand now? Every warden will put themselves between Lavendel and the Blight. But we'll be spread thin around the village. There's only so many of us. We need to make that work. Your plan to get us through is a good one. I gave advice and people listened. You credit yourself too little. I have a feeling he's right. Fine. I'm great, the plan's great. Let's hope we don't die. You are, it is, and agreed! So what now? What can I do? There are sentries equipped with horns stationed around the village. Those horns are sounded when an attack begins, and again if backup's needed. That lets us focus our numbers. I need you to check with the sentries. Make sure they're ready. I'm on it. We can do this. All right. Take that can-do spirit to the rest. Check back with us when you're done with the sentries. We can hold off the smaller packs for a while, but there's no going back once the horde hits. Come on. Let's check on the warden sentries. F. What are you after today? Good to go. You need anything else, I'll be here. Thanks, Holden. I'll see you around. Look who it is. Name's Warden Augustin. Evka sent me. How are things here? The Darkspawn aren't on us, but they will be. I can feel it. And you go where the fight is, don't you? Tell Evka I'm ready. We'll hold Lavendel. Evka sent me. How are things here? Evka's plan is good. Whatever happens, we won't lose the village. That's right. Tell Evka we're ready. Hey, Evka wanted me to check in. Are you ready? I am. The Darkspawn won't win this one. Not on our watch. We took those dragons, we'll take this too. We should get back to Evka.
Need something? It's good to see you. Evka, the sentries are ready. Good. Are you? That's a horn. The Darkspawn are here. It came from the Glade. Let's move! We can't let them break through to the village! Lavendel is the only village left alive out here. We make sure it stays alive.
Thanks for having my back. You took more than your share. And what? What is it? Something evil. A strange calling in the blight. Something to look into. Yes. But that's what we do. And today, we won the day. He's right. Take that with you. When the next thing comes, we'll handle that too. It's in here, too. You're sure? It's faint, but yes. Is something wrong? Yeah, but first, you deserve some thanks. Lavendel is safe. They still need our protection, of course. But we won this fight together. Thanks to Evka's plan. If we're giving Evka credit, then I won't argue. Fine. Credit taken. Now, as much as I hate changing the subject... Right. Antoine, you sensed something strange. What was it? The Blight Zone wasn't just strange. At first I heard the gods, but now... There's something else. And it's here, in the wetlands. It pulses, weird, pulling somewhere dark. It sounds... I don't know. Pleased? What does that mean? We don't know yet. Likely nothing good. So you need to search a deadly wilderness for something even deadlier. What? Ah, uh, yes. Exploring Alderson is similar. More than we'd like. So what's next? We need more time to study what the new song means, and where it leads. And you can't listen to it all the time. We don't know what it is. Evka, I... <sighs> but yes, we have many different tests to run. Remember to visit Hook. We'll have results eventually. Until then, stay safe. Antoine, what's on your mind? It's like there's a pattern in the blight, and no pattern at all. But... All right. I think we can make this work. I took work orders from all the wardens. All right. Hey, Mila. How are the wetlands? Blighted? Right. The wardens have a lot to do. <clears throat> Rook, I'm Sawyer. Watch your back out there. What's going on? Mercenaries, they're taking advantage of the Blight and looting what was left behind. They attack Wardens on sight, even as we're fighting all this. A scout saw torches headed towards the Redoubt. If they manage to break into the Cauldron, there's dangerous relics out there and blighted weapons, and those mercenaries would sell to the highest bidder. Can't let that happen. If I can stop them, I will. We'd be in your debt, more than we already are. Have you seen Ivan? 
He kept talking about a tree. He said it was very nice. What are the wardens? Quite distracting, though. Mercenaries. I got eyes on we them. We got the last warden to find us. We've got to do it. You'll pay for that. After whatever they can steal, they're willing to kill for it. They look at the blight and see a chance to profit. We can't let this stand. Lucanus, about what happened at Weishaupt. Was an embarrassment to the crows. Not what I meant. We were both thrown off our game. I shouldn't even be alive. Neither should kill a name. Take whatever you want. What is? You bounce back. Already on it. Not no witnesses. Take whatever's on them. More profit works for me. Not what I meant. We were both thrown off our game. I shouldn't even be alive. Neither should kill a name. Point is, we bounce back. We're not the sort who lose sight of our quarry because things got a little rough. We get near her again. We'll strike true. I'm sure of it. Time 
Don't forget your business. Go. For the mercenaries. Then we got our target. Good. The wardens have enough on their minds as it is. We should tell Warden Sawyer. Hurry up! The place makes my skin crawl. This loot showers! Sawyer, the mercenaries you mentioned. We stopped them. Thank the Maker. Anything they took from the locals, we'll see returned. As for what belongs to the Wardens, some of that may be better destroyed. We'll see to that, too. Follow me and don't recall the bones beneath the creek. That's the chorus? The tune sounded so sweet. All right. The dragon's a fang scorcher that attacked villages. We're close to her lair. This shouldn't be too bad, right? We fought two dragons at once in Hosberg. The dragons we fought in Hosberg were being ordered around by the gods. They were attack dogs. This is a wolf, a big wolf, fighting in her own territory. Be ready. This is your first real dragon fight. You said the dragon's a fang scorcher. What are they like? Fire breather, related to the Ferelden Frostback. Think of her like the dragon version of a bobcat or a fox. It's a little larger than a bobcat. I mean, she's small and sneaky for a dragon. Attacks with fire from a distance to soften up her targets. And she's mean. Scorchers hold a grudge longer than my mother. You said she attacked villages. Are we dealing with another attack in a city, like Treviso or Minrathis? No. Something got her to start hunting a ways off. Something like what? Dunno. Hoping we find out while we're here. But right now, focus on taking her down before she kills anyone else. Including us. 
Still, even in its lair, this can't be any worse than the Hosberg wetlands, right? She's a dragon. It's at least got to be easier than the archdemon we fought at Weishaupt. Stay in the trees as long as you can. It's gonna get hot when she sees us. Hey, Lucanus. I heard Antivan crows make themselves invisible to dragons by imitating the dragon's shadow. Who tells you these things? How would that even work? I thought maybe you spread out your capes like wings. So she thinks you're her shadow and ignores you. Tash, the Antivan crows only develop techniques for assassinations. Why would we learn techniques to fight dragons? Maybe someone hired you to assassinate one? Hang on. Something's off with that crap up ahead. Let's go up through there on the left instead. What's wrong? I don't know. The way that debris is placed, it doesn't look natural. Or like something a dragon would do. You're the expert. We'll follow your lead. So we're gonna fight another dragon, huh? Spooks prey so they bolt out into the open. It is extremely effective. Set in an ambush. They weren't counting on you. Come on. We can circle around. Hit them where they're not expecting us. Oh, my God. 
They knew I'd come for the Fang Scorcher. I only came because she attacked villages. Maybe they baited it into attacking the villages somehow, to lure you out here. For the Dragon King, apparently. <laughs> Stupid name. Let's look around. I need to know what's going on. Bastards! They're the ones who've been capturing dragons and blighting them. Turning them over to Gildane in exchange for power. Hisra Marlock Vashvatari Brock! We knew the Anton were involved. Now we know it's the Dragon King. That's who we find and kill. We can get to the Fang Scorcher's lair up through there. Whenever you're ready. She knows we're here. That means quick beats quiet. Stay clear of the fire. It's like oil. It's on you and keeps burning.
Today, you're Dragon Slayers. Now let's see what she had in her lair. Probably that big building over there. Let me know when you're ready to get out of here. Tell me when you're ready. Let's head out now. Trophy from the Fang Scorcher? She was a good fight. You gonna whine and complain every time we hunt a dragon? What do you mean, every time? A lot of dragons out there. They can stay out there. When you were standing over the dragon, you said something. Chakra to Ebra. It's the same thing your mother told you. You struggle the way you are? You must struggle with what you are. It's what she told me when I was a kid. Still does, so I don't let the dragon out. Meaning your fire breath? It's not just about the fire. It's about how stuff makes me feel. What I do when I'm angry. I've seen you get angry. When we first met, I saw you wreck those Antom who were after the Vinsummer. Assholes. But you've got it under control. Barely. I get... I can get... this... rage. Where I just have to break something, and I can get stuck in arguments, needing things to be a certain way. The Antom would have turned me into a berserker, breathing fire across the battlefield, killing anything in my way. 
I don't want to be that. Tosh, you can't be afraid to feel things. No, weren't you listening? It gets too much. You can control what you do about those feelings. Yeah, but that doesn't mean pretending you don't feel them. You are Kunari. You have the discipline to use those feelings when they help you and control them when they don't. I mean, we just killed a dragon, thanks to you. How hard can anything else be after that? Yeah. I guess you're right. I think I'm ready to talk to my mother about who I really am. Yeah? Yeah. I just killed a dragon. How hard can talking to my mother be after that? Might invite her to the lighthouse. Maybe that way she doesn't spend the whole time talking about that old tablet. I'm still a little concerned about whoever sent the Antom. They mentioned the Dragon King? Yeah. The asshole who's capturing dragons and blighting them for Gillinane. I'll ask Isabella to look for him. Still a stupid name. Dragon King. Dragons wouldn't have kings. They'd have queens. The trap had failed. The Fang Scorcher was dead. But the Dragon King was a patient hunter. All he needed was a little help from a trader in the Lords of Fortune to set a new trap. And the bait was sure to bring Tosh running. Hey, Tash. You talked with your mother lately? I'm here to hit things. That's a yes, then. Finally got the rubble cleared. Starting to feel like a proper outpost. You get... Plenty of ways to spend your coin here. Send your friends my way. Tell them Amelia will set them up right. Strife, I got a tip there might be trouble here in Arlethin. You're just in time. We've got a problem. I was out with a scouting party, and we spotted the Venatori moving into the area. They're being directed by Elgernon or Gillanane. They have to be. The Grey Wardens warned us the gods were heading to Arlethin. But why bring the Venatori? 
We don't know. That's where you come in. Every time I bump into the Venatory, there's some kind of evil rune, ritual, or relic involved. Or all three. I'll give you the rough location where we sighted them, but you might have to search beyond that. They want something, and we need to know what they're up to. I'll find out what it is. Feel free to take out as many of them as you can. This is our forest. This place makes the back of my eyes hurt. Arlathan was the center of a war between Devinter Magisters and ancient elves. The whole place was destroyed and buried into the ground. Blood magic everywhere. Time to show them some Dalish hospitality. That's the last of them. Good. Now what were they doing out here? They set up camp here. Let's take a look. This is Dalish, and there's a Dalish camp nearby. If the Venatory hit them... It's not far from here. We better check on them. I know the occasional Venatori will cross into Arlathan hunting for relics. Do you think that's what the gods are after? Something ancient? Watch it! More Venatori! <laughs> Last one. There shouldn't be any Venatori in Arlathan. Not in these numbers. At least we're headed the right way. <sighs> Arlathan Forest is as weird as ever. Come on, rocks seem stable enough. Let's get through here. Ah! <sighs> 
There's Venatori ahead. We'll handle them. Sit tight. Glad to see another Veiled Jumper. What's happening? The Venatori are rounding up Dalish. I locked that barrier, but some of them already got through. What do you mean they're rounding up Dalish? There are more Dalish inside the ruins. They were camped there. All right. Get back to Strife and Irulan and let them know. Damn it. Still locked. Rook, over the door there. Symbols. Okay. Let's get it unlocked. That worked. Keep going. Time to get moving. Venatory plans are always twisted. They wouldn't come here at random. They want something. They wouldn't. There's m There they are. What do you want? Why do you attack my people? Soon enough. We still don't know what they're doing here. Let's keep looking around. Is out. I'll bet that's the bail jumpers doing. Slow the Venatori down. Has to be a power crystal around here. Trouble on the way. Damn it, these are my people! Leave this camp alone. Come and try. You have to kill me too. These are my people. Stay alive. No, I offer you. 
Now let's see what they've done with the Dalish. Get you out of there. Hang on. More symbols, like before. Shouldn't be hard. did it. Let's see what she has to say. It's okay. I'm a Veiled Jumper. You're safe. What happened? That other Veiled Jumper died making sure I was safe. She sealed the barrier before the Venatori could get me. What about the rest of the Dalish? They took everyone. Kidnapped them all. Why? Where'd they take them? I... I don't know. Their leader said they need Dalish blood, some sort of sacrifice. Sacrificed? With the Venatori, I should have known. This just got a whole lot worse. We need to figure out where the Venatori took them. Let's look around. I swear they so much as touched those prisoners. Some papers here, but nothing useful. No mention of a location. Well, doesn't look like the Venatori brought any supplies with them. They must have a nest close by. We find it. Maybe we find the Dalish. Yeah. Just some mud here. But it looks like there's some kind of glass here, too. Glass? Hold on a second. There's a crater nearby, here in Arlathan. Back when blood magic was unleashed thousands of years ago, it was Brooke, so powerful the stories say it fused the sand to glass. And we know the Venatori didn't come very far. They must have taken the Dalish to the crater. We have to tell Strife in Irulan. We got here as fast as we could. It's bad. They're kidnapping Dalish. To sacrifice them. What? You're serious? These Dalish were caught by surprise. One survived, but the rest... ...will live just long enough to be sacrificed. Even for the Venatori. This is evil. Where did they take the prisoners? The lake. The old crater. We have to strike back. We'll find them. But it'll take time to put together a rescue party. Don't take too much time. We need to stop this. We will. Let's head back to the lighthouse. We'll meet the Veil Jumpers there.
Venatoria gathering deep in the forest. They've brought the Dalish with them. Not long till the sacrifices start, then. We did kill Gilanine's archdemon. The gods will want more power, and fast. We're gaining strength by draining other elves? We're supposed to be their people. Maybe that's why it's elves? That makes it worse. Right. But that's who the gods are. Who they've always been. You know the gods best, Rook. The Veljampers are ready. Just give the word. I'll go get Nev. She deals with Venatori the most. Good point. We know where the Dalish are, and we know what we have to do. Let's do it. Then we ride, and pray that fate is on our side. Is that Zara Renata? This place isn't big enough to keep every corpse you guys find. Zara spoke to Ilario before she died. Emmerich can talk to the dead. I have to know. <clears throat> I wouldn't have offered my skills if I thought it was unsafe. Let flame rekindle your sight. Let breath and light rise again. Tell us about Ilario della Morte. Martyrs. He fooled us both. Elaborate. You took what he wanted most in this world. More than coin. Pleasure. Family. The title of First Talon. If that's what he wanted, why imprison you? Why not just kill you? No offense. It's a fair question. <laughs> Death was the original plan. But this one doesn't waste those with... potential. And Katerina? Did Ilario hire you to kill her? No. Ilario used blood magic to control Spite. How? He's not a mage. Our oh, risen god gives many gifts. Elgernon? Ilario's working with Elgernon? Her spirit's strong. Haste would be appreciated. Let her go. We've heard enough. I'm sorry, Lucanus. So am I. What are you going to do? Take away everything from him.
tell me about Anoris? He is the light, the hope of Elvanan, the bringer of- Tell me about the war against the Evanuris. Even now, the armies of Anaris wage a glorious war against the- Tell me about the armies. The chosen of Elvanan, made pure and stripped of their want to serve the great Anaris. So demons. He made an army of demons. Damn it, Syrian. What have you done? Oh, Rook. What's going on? I'm trying to find out why Syrian would help Anaris. It just gets worse, harder to understand. Now he wants to meet Syrian, I mean, to explain himself. He's turning people into demons, our people. Nothing he could say will make that all right. Damn it, Rook. I know. Talking to him again, knowing what I know, it's hard. Beyond hard. And that's if this isn't all a big trap. Listen to your gut. Would he really try to lure you into a trap? I would have said no before all of this. The Syrian I know cared, loved his people more than anything. He, he kept me grounded, focused, made sure I was okay. And I took care of him, protected him because I loved my little brother and I owed him. But what he is now, who he is now, I don't know. I'd hoped the Archive would make it easy. Tell me it was a, a misunderstanding. But Anaris is evil, full stop. And if my brother's working with him... Syrian must be working with him for a reason. I'd like to believe that. It'd make this easier. When I thought he died, it almost broke me. I don't know if I can do that again. So what are you going to do? Meet with him. Are you okay with that? No, but I need to talk to him, convince him he's wrong. And if that doesn't work? Will you come with me? Of course. Thanks, Rook. Really. Just... Tell me when you're ready. Supper in Docktown? You're actually taking a break? I've got leads to chase on Alia and Docktown's missing people. A few sources will only talk if I'm alone. But if you're around after, you help me uncover all this. Supper's on me. Sure. Count me in. This is where we eat. I see. Shathan, it's good to see you again. My child wished to show me where she now lived. We made food. Here, this cup. Made it myself. You remember the recipe on your own? 
You've been hammering it into me for 20 years. It could use more ginger. Whatever the Kuhn demands. Nevitash has never been interested in Kunari traditions before now. Perhaps Tosh paid more attention than you thought? She did not. Is this your influence? Or that of the followers of the Kuhn? The followers of the Kuhn? Have they asked you to soften her to the Kuhn? Do they want to lure her back? Neither. Thank you for asking. Then why have you pushed her to this? First, I didn't push Tosh to anything. And second, I thought you'd be pleased to see Tosh showing interest in Kunari heritage. Eva Tosh is a Dari. I removed her from Parvalin for a reason. But all the lessons, all the Kunari culture. An error on my part. I was never taught how to be a mother. Under the Kuhn, children are raised by those suited to such pursuits. I trained as a scholar. I was taught to think critically, to analyze without passion, and correct mistakes. You need not tell me that I am an inadequate mother. I am aware. Then why did you leave? When I see my child in danger, I act. Here's the ginger. Thank you. So, I'm non-binary. What does that mean? It means I don't feel like a man or a woman. If you are neither a man nor a woman, then what are you? Non-binary. I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. If this is because I have criticized your dress or your manners... It isn't! Under the Kuhn, the term for one whose gender does not match the one given to them at birth was a Cunithlock. Perhaps you are like that. Why do you have to keep picking at it? Why can't you just be happy for me? Evatosh, Chakra Toebra. So I'm supposed to struggle with who I am? Even if I don't feel like I fit? Even if I feel wrong? No, you misunderstood. Then say it better! Why am I never enough for you? I will go. Thank you for inviting me to your home, Panahedan. Tosh, I'm so sorry. No. It's okay. Tosh. I'm not hiding anymore. How she takes it is her problem. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Don't let food go to waste.
Rook, something's come up. Evka dug around and found us someone who knows more about the Gloom Howler. Anything useful? Our new friend wants to talk in person. Figured you'd want to come along for this one. Strife wants everyone on the rescue mission to Arlathan Creek. We have to reduce patrols. We need all. Laura, you came. I am surprised. I almost didn't. With everything that happened, I didn't want to. But you're my brother. Still, even with all of that. Did you come? Alone? Yes. Though you didn't. Not after what happened to Hamuel. To Yanarel. The others. The ritual should have granted them purity, strength, that it did not. That is my failure. I was not worthy. I will do better. I must do better. For Onaris. For our people. The people Onaris killed and turned into demons with that ritual? He's willing to do whatever he must to save us. To make the hard choices. The Evanuris, Solus, they would sacrifice us to their ends. He's a warlord. That's all he is, all he ever was. So said the Evanuris. But the victors write the histories. He fought to make our people great. And the Evanuris fought to keep them in fetters. He showed me the world as it once was, as it could be again. And you believe him? Even after people were turned into demons? He's controlling you, influencing you through the mask. His thoughts are a disease, and you're suffering from it. My thoughts remain my own, Balara. Why can you not accept that I chose this willingly? Through this mask, I feel what he feels. When he thinks of our people rising once more, have you ever felt the warmth? of a god's happiness, or the cold bite of their fear. What is it he's afraid of, then? I'm not sure, but it haunts him, consumes his thoughts. I must help him, help us, to face whatever it is. So he hasn't told you what it is he's afraid of? No, but no doubt he keeps it from me for good reason. More people will die if you keep helping him. 
More of our people, Syrian. You have to see that. This isn't you. Not the real you. You were my anchor, Syrian. You kept me grounded. When my thoughts lied to me, you always told me the same thing. Do you remember? Trust your heart, Boris Shivan. It's a good heart and it'll never lie to you. So why won't you trust it now? I must do what I must. Me too. We're going to have to stop them. Him. I know. Come on. You've got work to do. Do you put gravy on? If I'd been faster, quicker with the dagger at Weishaupt, Gilanane would be dead now. I was there, Lucanus. I saw it myself. From one professional to another, you did everything you could. I missed the target. You also pulled off the most incredible acrobatic assassination attempt I've ever seen. Well, if you're going to kill, do it in style. Just remember the killing part. Next time. Come <laughs> on. 
beat the odds. If you got a job for me, let me know. Well, I'm late. Tried grabbing something from Hal's on the way, but the fish fry's not running. So much for supper. What have you been doing? Chasing leads. On alias Venatori, Darktown's missing people, and anything that might come close. Find anything? Plenty. Something I can use is another story. So here we are. I'm out of leads, and you're out that supper I promised. Don't worry about it. In this case... We'll get through it eventually. Yeah. I could use a walk. And some rocks. You up for it? Rocks? Yeah. So, rocks. Look for good ones. Mm, you were serious about this. You'll see why. Were you keeping Nev company? Or hoping for a treat. Why are we doing this? You know what they say, leave no stone unturned. Really? No. You know, when I say we'll get through, I believe it. I know you do. You don't believe me? I'm skeptical on a good day, and lately... I understand. All right, time to put these rocks to use. Come on. How are we doing? With the rocks or in general? Let's stick with the rocks. In that case, so far so good. A win for us. I guess it is. Over here. I'll take you to my usual spot. Fancy. Isn't it? Is this what you do when you're out of leads? I'd look over my notes, but I've got them by heart. I just need to clear my head. Stepping back can't hurt. Clear minds get things done. If only they stayed that way. You can't count on a lot here. When I started, I wasn't going to save Minrathus, never mind Thedas. But if I could take a job and follow through, well, maybe people could count on me. But at the end of the day, what have I done? What sticks? 
Venatory everywhere, Alia waltzing back into town. I'm fighting, Rook. Sometimes it feels as though the city itself stabs me in the back. I'm here to help. I know. But getting mixed up in my problems, it's not the smart play. Rana's partner, Brahm. Where did it leave him? Where does it leave you? Side by side with Nev Gallus. Like you are, for me. You know you're a sap, right? She was there. We didn't see her. This word? Maybe. Willing to chase a long shot? We need to get to the spillway. You've got something on Alia? She was there. We just didn't see her. At the spillway? At the relic deal. When Alia controlled Damas, she mentioned Bataris and the stolen relic. Why bring that up? Why would she care? You think she was involved? Or one of her puppets. She's been careful, but there may be something to pick up at the site. A witness. Anything. We can get to the site from here, up and across that building. So we're returning to the scene of the crime. Where we fought Bataris? It's just a hunch, but it's the best I've got. Let's check it out. What's the plan? Bataris had a red Lyrium relic. Those don't play nice with the Veil. The Viper left me a piece of one in case there was more to track. Remnants fade with time, but if we got here soon enough... Remnants. We've got them. Fainter than the ones we found before. But I'll see what I can draw out. Let's take a look. You bet. Echoes of greed, pride, are venatory, but Taurus. Got it. The Thread Smuggler. But this feels scrambled. Two people's thoughts in one source. She wasn't a traitor. She was a puppet. Alia moving goods to her followers. Look there. There's more. By the waterfall. We're close to something. I can feel it. Skipping stones really worked. I guess some of my plans pan out. Sure thing. This one's afraid. A witness? Someone else showed up too, after we left. If I can pull out more of an echo, a memory. So Nev Gallus is back. Tell me what you saw. Nothing, I swear. Alia. No. In my head. Stay out. A bystander? They must have seen the fight. 
then Aelia showed up. Tell me, would you see this city rise? Be a thrall in service to its glorious Reba? Thrall? No, I... No! Silence! Your will... Belongs to the Venatori. I'm so sorry. The risen god will unlock my true power. He's given me Vena Vitalis. We start here. What's Vena Vitalis? A rumor, an old Tevinto ritual to increase blood magic. Fake accounts appear on the black market. The real records were burned by magisters. It scared them. But if Aelia follows Elganarn, if he could give her the trick, the Venatori are in power, but Aelia wants total control. Blood ritual. Then the missing people. It's a lead. But where? When? Who else does Aelia break before I track her down? Nev? This place means something to me. But what am I to it if I can't... You'll catch Aelia again. Doctown's got someone looking out for them. They'll see that. I don't need to be the hero. I just need them safe. I'm a sucker, Rook. Getting caught up in all this. <laughs> Bad habit. You're not fighting alone. End of the day, I'm used to counting on myself. That's how it's been. And now you've got us. When you need it. Okay, let's run some more practice. Thanks for tagging along, Rook. Those feelers I put out about the Gloom Howler turned up something. Evka, I got your message. I figured you'd want to hear this. This is Davrin and Rook. You can trust them. What's your name? I, uh... It's okay. We're here to help. Nothing to be afraid of. My name's Valya. When I heard about Wise Helped, what happened... I once trained to be a Grey Warden, but I left before the joining. It's not for everyone. It wasn't that. It's... I'm the one who found the Griffin Eggs before they hatched. I've got about a million questions. But why come to us now? I knew some of the Wardens who were caring for the Griffins, Remy and Lancet. I think I know what killed them. The Gloom Howler. It's a Grey Warden, isn't it? An elf. But that's all we know. Yes. 
Her name is... was... Isaya. I found her diary. She was a mage. She blighted all the griffins during the fourth blight. What? Upon direct orders from the first warden at the time. She had no choice. This was centuries ago. Why would they do that? In her diary, Isaya said the blight was going badly. The wardens couldn't win. They turned to blood magic. The griffins fought harder, longer. I see where this is going. Isaya didn't want to do it. But orders were orders. It won the war. But then... The griffins became rabid. They turned against the wardens. So then the first warden turned against them. He ordered them all destroyed. That's why they're extinct. I can understand why this Isaiah is so pissed. She felt betrayed by the wardens forcing her to do it. As penance, she hid the remaining eggs with a protective spell. I followed the clues and found them. That was 400 years ago. She shouldn't even be alive. Her last entry said she left for her calling. Then she's probably in the deep roads. Blighted. Twisted. Hassan? I was there the day you hatched. You've grown. Careful. He's a shameless flirt. That's because he's such a pretty boy, isn't he? I remember feeding him ginger wart truffles as a baby. So you're the reason Davern's been hunting mushrooms instead of monsters. Anything for the prince. I don't see a crown on your head yet, boy. There should be. Griffins give the wardens hope. Something to rally around after Weiss helped. Please find his brothers and sisters. Whatever it takes. We owe them so much. Count on it. Stay safe, Hassan. <laughs> This is good information, but it still doesn't tell us where the Gloomhowler is. No, but the other Wardens will keep looking. The Gloomhowler, Isaya, can't hide forever. Stormriders get really possessive about their hordes. She'll be tracking the scent of anything that got taken. Looks like they're talking about a dragon. Kataranda? Kataranda the Stormrider. She's bad. She's real bad. Breathes lightning, like the Vinsimer. The Vinsimer was kind of friendly, though. Kataranda isn't. She is a bad dragon. Find any good loot lately?
You'll want something with a bit more bite this time, I reckon. Get yourself in order and head to the entrance. The Hall of Valor is pleased to welcome legendary spirit of determination, Spite! And his spirit friend, Incarnate Delamorte. You couldn't pay me to step in the pit with you, and coming from me, that's quite a compliment. Is it strange for you, Davren, being alive after Weishaupt? I still don't know what to think. Word among the crows is that few Grey Wardens have ever faced an Archdemon and survived. I could feel some kind of energy when my blade struck. I thought that was the end. And now that it isn't? I'll grow old with a griffin. Nothing here. Maybe in the wreckage nearby. Yeah. 
Cutteronda threw that ship like a toy. Looks like something took the treasure and buried it. I can have a song start digging. Got it. Treasure. Crows often develop expensive tastes. Maybe if I offer it a coin, it'll give up the treasure. It's only fair. The crows do not work for free. This is all of the treasure stolen from Cataranda. If we want to lure the dragon in, we should find some place open. Maybe the beach where Tosh lured in the Vinsimer.
right. We just took down Deathstorm the Storm Rider. We are drinking for free tonight. There's some treasure caught in her scales. Yep. Storm Riders carry around bits of their hoard. I think maybe they get worried when it's not with them. waiting for something. There's talk of a sacrifice. Do they mean the clan? They mean the clan, don't they? Well, the tracks suggest the captives are on the other side of the clearing. You'll have to go through the crowd. We're going through them? Won't they notice? Not if you look like them. I found you some disguises. Oh, that doesn't smell good. Oh! Oh, it's sticky. Why is it sticky? Blood. Hopefully. Make sure you split up. You don't want to draw attention. Nev, I need you with me. You know the Venatori best. And you're probably the only one who can convince them you belong there. Sad but true. And we'll be your entourage. I'll go with the Veil Jumpers. We'll try to keep the escape routes clear. Get the Dalish and get out of there. And please... Try not to stand out. What will the others do? They'll be close, but it's safer to move in small groups. I saw someone in the trees. Strife and the veil jumpers. Good to know they have eyes on us.
They're going to bleed the daily steer. They're going to kill a holla. Monsters. Hit it too. We need to stay hidden. And he Rook, we don't have to watch this. It won't be pretty. was the mayor of Demeter's Crossing. The god's hold on him was stronger than he knew. Is this elf your servant, my lady? Dumat's teeth. Must I defend my entourage to every low-paid toady out here? I I'm sorry, my lady. I, I was given instruction to- Tell someone who gives a damn. Why am I still waiting? Where are the gods? When does the ritual start? Gods? But only the Lord Elgernon is here, and he is still preparing. Useless. Out of my way. It's Elganon, not Gilanane, like we expected. That was impressive. They expect strength and power from someone like me. A mage. A human mage. Show them what they expect, and you don't get questions. But as I was saying, Gilanane's not here. It's just Elganon. Elgernon might be here, but he doesn't know we are. Yeah, but I think he'll notice when we try to steal his sacrifices. We'll worry about that when we have to. Then let's keep moving for now. What do you think Rook's like in person? You. Have you forgotten which side you're on? Uh, no. I mean, think about if we could turn them. Riding beside us, at the head of the winter's vast oranges. Hey, Rook. Looks like you got a fan. Keep your voice down. <laughs> Does anyone else hear that? Lassa, darling. Dear child, you were born into obscurity. Sorrow etched on your bones. I see you. I feel your pain. He's making promises. Tempting me. He's telling me you'll get the Griffins back. Hundreds of years you have mourned the loss of your dragon gods. From beyond the veil, I heard your lament and have come to deliver you from desolation. Dragon of Night, I break your chains. Hear my voice and rise. I am Elganon, 
once called Lusacon, and I have returned. The Archdemon is already fueling him. A child of my children, I will shower you with the glory of the ancients. All you must do is obey me, worship me, love me, and kneel. I... I know this magic. It's old and dangerous. We've got this. I'm trying to conceal us. He'll know someone broke his hold. The Lara bought us some time, but we have to go. Now. Venatori, there are uninvited guests among you. Bring them to me. He's sending the cult after us. Elganon's in the open. This is our chance. No. We can't touch him now that his archdemon's in play. I won't risk Dalish lives. There! There they Strike are! Strike now! Destroy them! For Elganon!
want the interlopers at my feet. Your continued failure is a disappointment to your god. He's riling them up. They walk back down now. What happens when they don't give him what he wants? Way to get it done. the odds there.
Baelish arrows. The bail jumpers are watching our backs. That'll take some of the pressure off. We have to use this chance to get to the prisoners. This way. We have to be quick, before the Venatori catch up. The North Island crew sent for reinforcements! and the locking mechanism is on the other side. So you're saying we're stuck? There has to be another way out.
Lily, are you sure you can open this? Yes, we can do it! feels... off. Wrong in all sorts of ways. How do we even get here? I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on. We need to find a path through. We still need to think of the Dalish. So that is what you're after. The Elven have been chosen to serve a glorious purpose. Okay, that's not a coincidence. It's Elgernon. He's found us. And he's got us trapped. The longer we stay here, the more danger we're in. Light here. There wasn't light before. You 
cannot stand against me. Every action of yours is futile. My power grows even now. Oh, come on! You are nothing but an insect. Resist if you like. I have an eternity to spare. <laughs> need help, the more losing precious time going around in circles. To... One thing at a time. Let's focus on getting out. Rook, can you hear me? Solus? Something's wrong. I thought I'd just heard Solus. You are correct. Elganon's magic has thinned the veil, allowing me to speak to you directly. Solus, we need your help. Then I am pleased that for once I can offer some assistance. If you can rescue the elves, Elganon is mine to face. What do you mean? Elganon! Lathaline! Mabanal Avanuris! Marceline Algalana! I see what you mean. Let's keep moving. Solus is going to distract Elgernon. You have no power here! Sounds like Solus pissed him off. Score one for Baldi. As long as it keeps him off us. So, the dread wolf has arrived to defend his pawn. Your cruelty forced my hand. A hundred generations and still the same refrain. Again you have caged our people, and again I will set them free. But you are always stubborn, Fen Harel. Insubordinate, unmanageable, even by Mithor's reckoning. You have lost the right to speak her name. Madonna's man, Shevgar Fen Harel. Checked. She thought to temper your brutish ego. Instead, you betrayed her, murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> Only the first time, Dread Wolf. Look, what's wrong? You okay? I can hear them in my head. <laughs> I can do this. 
We have to do this. Your struggle is pointless, and your faith in the dread wolf is misplaced. Give up. Save yourself. Save your friends. I can see the way through. Solar system distraction is working. I think this is it. I think we're through. You should be near where you need to be. With luck, you can still save the elves. is free, it will rule this world, and you will be its attack dog. You will burn this world at its command, as Andrul did in yours. You will leave only ruin behind you. This world is ruined already. Your veil destroyed it. You could heal it. You have the strength to repair the damage without using the blight. <laughs> Your games for the mortals, Dreadwolf. The blight is my blade, and it will take more than your tricks to get me to lay it down. Now it's your turn. Does. Time to get out of here. I can guide you to one of my old hideouts. You can use it to make your escape. The wards still in place there will shield you all from Elganan's sight. Solus, thank you. It was their duty to secure the sacrifices. It was their duty to ensure the ritual went perfectly. But despite all their efforts, Elgernon was disappointed. The cult would do anything to please their gods. The cult would give anything to its own. Anything. It really is tough being a Venatori.
We'd lost all hope, and then... A and then you swooped in out of nowhere to save us. He would have killed us to feed his dragon. Indeed. Masaranus, Nethalon. It was a team effort. It often is. Some fights can't be won alone. Celebrate the victories as they come. They're rare enough. And tomorrow, we'll have to deal with another Archdemon. And it will have regained its strength. Elgernon sacrificed his own Venatori to it. A punishment for their failures. The Venatori who escaped scurried back to Deventer. The Veil Jumpers will fight our own battles against the gods. Any help you can offer would be appreciated. I should probably talk to Solus. 